And so this is basically, you're looking at the cold side. This is the side that would be away from the sun. Uh, so we have radiators on this side and the instruments have their radiators. The Veers instrument is the, the big one here uh, at the front. Uh, it's two parts. It's a optical, what they call the OMM, the OptoMech module. And then behind that, it's an electronics module. And then you can see a radiator along the side, which basically it allows it to dump its waste heat uh, by radiating the cold space. The next one back with the bag over it is, uh, is the uh, Chris instrument. Uh, so that's part of the uh, sounder suite. The next one in order with the red uh, cover on it, uh, which gets removed before flight, is ATMS. That one also has a radiator to dump its heat. So those two are the, uh, if you heard Jim Gleason, the project scientist, those are the sounders. They do the majority of the, uh, the weather data collection. The next one back that you can see is the OMPS uh, ozone uh, limb. And there's actually two sensors uh, side by side. There's, a, there's one that's looking backward towards the limb of the Earth, and then there's another one that's looking directly nadir. And then they have an electronics module box on the other side, which basically is their electronics. And then the one you can't see from here, but basically just behind Chris and ACMS is the Cirrus instrument. So basically all five instruments on what we call the nadir deck. And uh, basically so they have clear fields of view to, to be able to see the, the, basically almost all of them scan. So they basically scan from limb to limb. They have rotating telescopes or rotating assemblies. And so everything is on that nadir deck. And then on the other side, what we call the zenith deck is, is the majority of the spacecraft electronics. Um, these two units right here are the star trackers. They're essentially cameras that stare out at the stars and allows us to basically very precisely using the stars be able to tell the attitude where we're pointed in space because we need to be able to keep them pointed nadir to, very, to arc seconds, you know, so uh, fractions of a degree. Uh, we use the, the star trackers for that. Uh, we also have gyroscopes which give us rates so we can tell how quickly we're, we're rotating. Um, the two large uh, units you can kind of see with the plumbing are basically our, those are our batteries. Uh, we keep them chilled so they have water that's going through a chiller. We need to keep them at about 10 C all the time, even when we're in this room, to preserve their lifetime. So we keep them at a, at a cold temperature. Uh, a lot of other electronics boxes. Uh, one of the things you can see uh, sort of back there is that's the antenna assembly. That's uh, where we do command and telemetry from the TDRS satellites. We can basically uh, downlink uh, command, or uplink commands and downlink telemetry, and so they can monitor that back at the uh, the control center in Suitland.